Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're talking about when to replace your saw blades. Specifically, we're talking about table saw blades and circular saw blades. Unfortunately, this is gonna be one of those videos where I'm a bit hypocritical, kind of the do what I say, not what I do. This is actually the, the blade off of my table saw from when I bought it back in like 10 years ago. This nasty one right here that's actually missing a full tooth, this is from my miter saw from also when I bought it like maybe 15 years ago. Now granted on my table saw I have been through a bunch of different blades but honestly some of my blades got so bad so just torn up just from years and years of use and abuse that I had to go back to the original blade that came with it until I totally beat the crap out of that one. This one right here however freaking toothless this is the original. I have never changed the blade on that miter saw in like 15 freaking years. The problem with waiting so long to change out your blade is that it'll affect the quality of cut and it can also be a safety issue. Like I pointed out on this one, the carbide tip is actually missing off of this tooth. And I'm sure it's also dinged up in a few other places as well. And you can just see all the, the wear and tear that's on this blade. I was actually having to use a lot more pressure and force when I'm making a cut than actually was really required had I been using a new blade. You can see the buildup of sawdust and pitch and just the wear and tear that is on this blade. It is just nasty looking. And back to the table saw blade, same thing. I was just having to push wood way too hard through this and I was not getting good results on my cut. There was excessive splintering. In some cases, there was even burning on the wood itself because of all the friction that it was causing. And in the end, I was doing a whole lot more work than would have been required had I put on a new blade. Why didn't you have a new blade, you may be asking? The simple fact of the matter is, Blades aren't that fun to buy. I'll be honest, I like my toys. I like buying new saws. I like buying new equipment. I like buying new tools and hardware and that sort of thing. But replacing a circular saw blade or a table saw blade really isn't that exciting or fun. Like I said, maybe it's just kind of a stupid reason, but that was the reality of it. I finally changed out the blades a few days ago and the difference is unbelievable. First thing I noticed was that my saw was it, it performed like it was brand new again. It was cutting like a hot knife through butter. The wood itself looked a whole lot better too. I wasn't getting any of the splinters, none of the burning, but on top of that, the motors were a lot happier. They weren't having to work as hard to cut through the wood. This will then extend the life of the motor on both my saws. Like I said, I've had my miter saw for like 15 years or something at this point, and if possible, I'd like to keep it around for another 15. The first thing that I should have picked up on that it was time to replace the blade was when the surge protector that I have my tools plugged into kept on popping. That's a pretty good clue that the saw or whatever you have plugged into it is working a little bit too hard and it shuts off to protect itself. At that point, I should have gone ahead and invested in new blades. If you've been around woodworking for a while, you know that there are a lot of high-end, super expensive blades. There's one company, as a matter of fact, that has blades, just regular table saw blades, for over $100 a piece. Since I don't want to invest that type of money, I just went ahead and bought a two-pack one for ripping, one for cross cutting. And then obviously one went on the table saw, one went on the miter saw. I think grand total for both blades was $40, something like that. So obviously, you know, $20 a piece. Definitely not a bad deal. So guys, in conclusion, please don't be like me. Make sure that you replace those blades whenever they start getting worn. Sometimes cleaning them can help remove some of that extra pitch and sawdust that might be attached to it. You can use something as simple as like simple green or soaking it for a little while and then lightly scrubbing it with like a brush with a brass or nylon brush and that'll break up some of the other crap that's on there and your blade can actually start performing like it once did. However, if you're noticing that your uh, surge protector is shutting off or your saw is getting bogged down, you might wanna take a look at investing in some new blades. Hey guys, hope you guys liked that video. Give it a big thumbs up. That's the best way to let me know that you just like the video and that content you want to keep on seeing. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that big red button, one of those sides down below. Now once you do that, that's going to be a real good way for you to know when I upload more content to this channel. If you have a question or there's something you, that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments below or you can also send me a message. You can also check out the Project Woodworks fan page on Facebook and I went ahead and linked a bunch of other cool places that you might want to check out as well. For you business owners, if you have a tool or a product that you would like to send me so that I can do a totally unbiased video review, let me know down in the comments below. You can also send me a message. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Chris. I'll see you in the next video.